Here's what your favorite Nintendo DS game says about you. If your favorite DS game is New Super Mario Bros, well then your main childhood memories consisted of playing this game late at night as you heard the rain on the roof of your house. You love apple juice and still like it now that you're older. All you eat is things that are super plain, like you hate having sauce on your spaghetti. Why though? Like, it's just sauce. You can swim for an hour on end and hate getting out of the pool, so in summer, you are the one in the pool, and you are one with the pool as well. If your favorite Nintendo DS game is Mario Kart DS, well then you have a special kind of love for niche characters like Wiggler, Rob, and Koopa Troopa. You don't play much Mario Kart anymore because this was your favorite entry, and you probably just play lots of Super Mario Maker now. You were the kid in school who always made those marker swords by stacking the markers on top of each other. And whether you have a cat or a dog, you pet them by giving them gentle pats on their head. If your favorite DS game is Kirby Mass Attack, well then you are absolutely in love with Kirby even to this day, and I really hope you enjoyed Kirby in the Forgotten Land because I just know that you've already got it beat. You also play lots of Minecraft, and you probably tried to make Kirby pixel art in your world, which, if it's in survival, you know, that's very impressive. You love freezing water bottles, then trying to drink them as they slowly melt. This also means that you love popsicles a ridiculous amount. Look, it's SpongeBob! Whether you're younger or older, you still play with plush before you go to bed. Like, you just, you got to, you know, what well, you gotta do. favorite Nintendo DS game is Pokemon Heart Gold, well then this is my favorite one, but you probably named your rival, your friend, or your brother, because I know I did. You put in way too much time into making secret bases and not beating the actual game. You were always selling Pokemon games when you were younger to get the newer games, but now you really regret it because, again, me too. You tried to convince your parents to buy those fruity icebreakers all the time, but then ate nearly all of them in one day because, for the last time, me too. If your favorite DS game is Mario and Luigi's Partners in Time, well then you were a rebel as a kid and you always thought that you were being treated unfairly when your parents wouldn't let you have a fourth ice cream sandwich in one day. Like wow, that's a lot of ice cream sandwiches. You definitely did the thing where you ran away from home with like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich but came back after 10 minutes because you were hungry. You probably couldn't beat the final boss in this game until you turned at least 14 years old. And you have an amazing imagination and you're always thinking of new Mario game ideas and you even tried to do some of them in real life and let me know how that went. If your favorite DS game is The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks, well then this title is misleading because you actually hate trains and you have never, ever been on one. This is one of your favorite Zelda games and you will argue your heart out when someone tries to tell you that this isn't one of the best Zelda games, because it is. You're the kid who touched the hot pan when your parents said to specifically not touch the hot pan. Ouch. And you were always terrible at hiding your DS when you tried to play games late at night. And your parents would come in and you would put it away like five seconds later, like that's just some rookie type stuff. If your favorite Nintendo DS game is Mario Party DS, well then all you talk about with this game is how it had a mini story mode type of thing, and you won't shut up when talking about just Nintendo in general. Like, if someone brings up Nintendo, we gotta hear this whole extensive story of how you played the story mode in Mario Party DS. Like, just enough. SHUT UP! You use the 13-in-1 hair conditioner, but it's okay, because I do too. You love using straws, and you're the person that's putting a straw in a can of soda. Like, really, why? You either have tons of energy, or you don't want to do anything for the day. And I mean absolutely nothing. There's no in-between. If your favorite DS game was Pokemon Platinum, well then you were definitely super popular at school, but when high school rolled around, you weren't popular at all. Aww. You wear lots of black and white clothing, and there's not a lot of color in anything you wear. 
You use Reddit for everything and you're always on it. Like seriously, you need to chill out with your Reddit usage. Enough Reddit. You don't have a big game collection, but instead you have a ridiculous amount of DS and 3DS consoles. If your favorite Nintendo DS game is Yoshi's Island DS, first of all, out of everything here, Yoshi's Island is really your favorite DS game? I respect that so much and I want to be friends, so if you're actually still here and it's actually your favorite game, please message me at Honestship on Instagram so we can be friends. You played lots of GTA 5 growing up and you always played those wacky game modes where you were climbing stuff into the sky. I did that too and I never knew why or what I was doing, I didn't question it though. You make lots of Yoshi noises, like I know it kind of makes sense, but please still relax with the daily Yoshi noises. And you use calendars a lot and you're always saying things like, let me check my calendar. Like I get it, you're busy, but lots of calendar talk. And finally, if your favorite Nintendo DS game is Super Mario 64 DS, you love this game just as much as you loved it on the N64, but you still massively complain about the camera angles. You have a water bottle collection, but you don't actively collect them, you just like having lots of them, which I really don't understand. Like, you just buy water bottles. Like, isn't one enough? Your family definitely puts bread in the fridge. And finally, you like going to grandparents' house on Thursday afternoon with some mustard and hanging up your handkerchief in the water bottle. 